Welcome back legends, I hope you're all fantastic. Today's video is gonna be a little bit of a cross between a travel vlog, a rig rundown, and basically like a tourism video for Western Australia. You're gonna see a bunch of really cute Western Australian animals. We did our first ragdoll fly show in about 18 months. We got flown to an island on the northwest coast of Western Australia to play at a resources camp. We did a Saturday night show and we did a 6 a.m. Sunday show, which I still can't figure out if it was the earliest gig I've ever done or the latest gig I've ever done, uh, but we did it and it was really, uh, it was a unique experience, put it that way. We got absolutely treated on this particular trip. So enjoy all the kind of irreverent details. Keep your eye out for the little rig rundown, which I've shot here and not at the gig because I didn't take my good camera. I just took my phone and uh, a GoPro. So you will definitely see some potato cam footage of the gig as well. I really hope you all enjoy this video. Any emergency exit, check for signs of smoke, fire or obstruction and consider if the exit is safe to be used. The emergency exit... So mate, when have you ever ridden on a flight when you're the only, when you know, you want a three passengers? So it's, it's technically Ragdoll's Charter Flight. This is Ragdoll's Charter Flight. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> All right on. Kenny Follett. Oh yeah, what do we got this? California Gold. That's kind of nice. There's nice that there's some books in here. Got a telly. Got the uh, palace in here. I mean, there's a shower. There's a toilet. There's even a basin. What more do you want, kids? And what's pretty unique about this is I'm on the second story. Two-story dog, mate. So far, so good. 
things that make this trip really, really enjoyable. Uh, I bought my AeroPress and I just made myself a coffee with some ground coffee that I bought from home because I'm that guy. And then the little charter plane that brought us over in the waiting area, they had my absolute favorite little chocolate wafer biscuit. Living the dream. So uh, open your biggie, grab your coffee, and enjoy. <laughs> go through the gear I took because I try to travel as light as possible. I take my backpack everywhere with me. So I have my clothes, my socks, my jocks go in this. A few other little essentials like a switch, which I basically just play on the plane because I'm quite tall and planes are really, really uncomfortable. So having something that I can really get involved in, uh, like Skyward Sword on the Switch or Breath of the Wild, which I played a whole lot on the plane. Uh, it's a really, really lovely distraction. So getting some gaming time in there. I take my AeroPress with me on trips like this. I also take this with me anytime I go camping or traveling. So I've got the little uh, fellow, I think they call it the Prism or the Prismo or something. It's just a little kind of mesh filter at the bottom. Uh, you know, they make a bunch of claims about how you can make true espresso with this and an AeroPress, which you can't, but it makes things a whole lot easier and cleaner. Uh, various lotions and creams and, you know, kind of that stuff. I've got my mask in there. I've got, you know, a phone power supply, which is always invaluable. There's a little pocket on the back of this, which is pretty handy where I can put like my wallet and my phone. So when you're going through the airport and things like that, I can just kind of reach around the back, give myself the reach around and grab my stuff. So there's that. Then I've got another bag, which, oh, oh let's not drop that. This comes on the plane with me as well. So this is technically my carry-on on Australian flights. You're normally allowed a carry-on and a backpack. In the front pocket of this new X bag, uh, there's Ryan's Tech 21 Sansamp bass driver. He's been using this since our very first American tour when he decided to go direct. And I remember at the time being like, go direct, <laughs> you're crazy. And here we are. He's also got a Boss TU3 in there. And then, you know, for me, 
I've got the FM3 and a Fractal EV2 in there. I was using an EV1, but the EV2 is just slightly lighter. And uh, yeah, you all know what that does. The last thing that we take, and you know, keep in mind, this not only covers me, this covers Ryan as well. Let's haul this thing over here because this was a very, very worthwhile investment. I'm gonna have to roll back on my chair, I think, to get this in. So uh, yeah, check this absolute beast out. This is a dual base case from Enki. And this thing is just amazing. So you can roll this down and I'm gonna have to roll it back even further. Uh, it's pretty big, as you can see, but it fits a bass guitar. So Ryan's got his Stingray in here and it fits of course, a regular size guitar. So I have my PRS Custom 24 in there. There's so much extra space in this. So, you know, you kind of take this bit of foam and plop it over here. Let's just roll these forward. It also came with this Enki, a uh, really handy little travel container. And in here, I mean, we have our in-ears and I don't want to drop this. Basically we have our in-ears, our power supplies, like spare little cables, strings all the kind of stuff that you need when you're in the middle of nowhere and you know the closest guitar store is like probably thousands of kilometers away so there's that there's so much space in this this is so amazingly rock solid and there's just so much extra space i could probably travel without a backpack if i just took this uh, the fm3 almost fits in it i think if they made this just slightly wider, I'd be able to get my entire rig into this Enki travel case. So I got this in February last year and used it on our Australian tour, which was, uh, you know, finished right around the time the entire world went into lockdown. So it's been great to get this out and use it again. It's 5.48, we have a gig at 6 a.m. So we're gonna go to the gig, where are the boys? Where are the boys? Where's my key? I've got my key in my pocket. Some nerve. You ready to rock? rock? Yeah. Where is he? What's, uh, what's this? It's Capitan. Yeah. For rocking. Did you do the knot? Yeah, I did the knot. I'm gonna go fill this up. Now, did we figure out what this is? Ah, uh, can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Feeling, feeling real good. Didn't shower. <laughs> Close your eyes. 